you know, those things happen. <laughs> well, but, I, I don't think we should we should go there, but that's... But, you know, I apologize to Scott. I extended my hand to him, and he walked away. And you know what? That's fine. If Scott wants to be that way, if Scott doesn't want to trust me, if i got to fight Team Elite by myself, perfectly fine. But come September 23rd, let's... Well, sorry. Come September 23rd, I, I actually just left Dockside. I, you know, talk about that, leaving for a few beers. So, right. But anyway, come September 23rd, I'm not offering my hand to Scott Osborne. I'm getting my belt back. It's almost been a year. I never exercised my rematch clause. I had too much to deal with rings, uh, with Team Elite. I had my mind on them. I'm the number one contender again. Bo Douglas lost. I beat Cameron Replay. It's time to get my belt back. Well, uh, I, I agree, Stunny. You are the number one contender because you beat Cameron Replay down at, at North Databoro. But as you know, the co-owner, well, we'll leave it at that, uh, he has the power to make the match. So even though you are in line, and that's what I told the fans earlier when, when uh, the enforcer was out here, we don't know what he's thinking. So, I mean, you, you should have the title shot at the September show, but you just don't know what, what he's thinking. Well, as far as I've heard, as far as, you know, the confirmation, uh, uh, I've heard from Cino that I've been in contact with him. As far as everything's concerned, it's pretty much a go. Me and Scott Osborne on the 23rd. Couple things to be wrinkled out, but as far as I know, that's the main event. At the rec center for September 23rd. So you're, you're getting that from our lawyer, Sino, is telling you. Yes, I am. So we can go ahead and tell the fans, and that should be. If you absolutely want to, it's it's up to you. Well, you're I mean, to hey, let me tell you, it's not, the, it's not the only thing I'm doing that night. As you know, this whole new segment that's uh, being debuted September 23rd. I, I, I'm i kind of double booked on this show. Right, so I might as well tell the fans that, uh, okay, well, since you brought that up, I will now. Uh, release that information on September 23rd. We do have a new segment. It will be called the Commissioner's Corner with T.J. Anderson. And uh, he will be in the ring, and it will be a, I guess, a quick you know, question and answer, give and take uh, segment. Uh, I guess T.J. has been watching a little too many Piper's Pits. He, he thinks he's uh, all of a sudden the host with the most. And fans, the first guest of the Commissioner's Corner will be stunning Sean, so I'm sure that's going to be a very interesting... Gee, I, I wonder if TJ is going to have Team Elite waiting for me. Well, I, you know, that would not surprise me. Uh, you know, if maybe if you're smart, you get somebody else to... Uh, you know, Paul, I, I, mean, I mean, not to instigate or not to infuriate TJ or anything, but did you ever notice that TJ Anderson looks like the love child of Porky Pig and Shrek? Did you ever realize that? Well, I, I, I realized that was a little, a little bit, bit. But I don't want to go because, as you know, if I, I got beat up last last show. I mean, that's all right. Uh, I'm, and, I'm, I'm around now. I, you know, Batty ain't gonna be doing anything anytime soon. I mean, I have some clout in this company, and if I need to get some bodyguards, I will get some bodyguards. You don't have to. I mean, I'm not a wrestler. I said it before. I mean, I, I can scrap a little bit. But, you know, for, for him to blindside me, and then when the Fink was on the previous show, uh, he's got his Fink. Oh, I heard, I heard he was a so, phenomenal host. I heard he did a fantastic job. I actually heard he set a record to uh, say repercussion on TV as many yeah, times he as was possible. Stumbling, he was stumbling among his words, uh, stunning. It's the, the I heard he couldn't make it. He's throwing an Xbox body tonight. It, it could be. I mean, he's, yeah. he, you know, the, the camera, sometimes with the camera gets a little... You know, Team upset. Elite... Team Elite talks about, you know, now you get me on a roll, Paul. Now you get me on a roll. Team Elite, yeah. Team Elite talks about how I'm missing out, how they're partying and all this stuff. Let me tell you what Team Elite does. First of all, Phoenix likes to throw Xbox parties with, you know, with all of his little brother's friends because Phoenix doesn't actually have friends. So he has Halo parties with little kids. All right. Then you got Reaper who drives his monster truck around, but he's too busy getting pulled over for shooting 14-year-olds in the head with a BB gun. And then you got TJ. You got TJ Anderson. I don't care if you're the commissioner or the owner or whatever you are. TJ, you will always, always, always be nothing but the fake figurehead beside behind Team Elite. Back when it was NIW, it was all me, baby. We just threw some money in front of you so we could get a little clout. 
Who's the smart one there? It wasn't you. It was me. Who else we got? We got Cameron Replay. I beat him. Let's see that again. And then there's uh, Justin Case, who uh, someone should mow my uh, someone should mow my lawn, which is uh, actually Justin Case is actually uh, greener than my lawn, if you can believe that. So you're you're saying that when you were in NIW, the commissioner was. Was not really in oh, charge. Th who did you think was in charge? I was the only member of Team Elite back when it was NIW that lasted. Terrific, gone. I hit him in the head so hard with a helmet, he doesn't know which way is up anymore. I remember that, yeah, that was a shot. Christian Haskell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he is. Uh, there was Andre Brown. Uh, uptown went downtown. And then um, there was the big dog, but I heard he's too busy on islands eating coconuts. But, you know, other than that, it was always me. So you are the, the brains behind everything? That's what you're telling me. I was. But apparently everyone thinks they're a little bit better, a little bit smarter than stunning Sean Stevens. But it's time for things to change. I promised Everett. I promised every single fan in Everett that I am taking down Team Elite. And I'm going to. But the most important thing in my life is getting that belt back. And I am on September 23rd. And... I know if I do beat Scott Osborne, and it's an if, because Scott's a fantastic athlete. And I'll actually say this out loud on the air. I've never beaten Scott clean. I might have cheated a little bit one of the times I've beaten him. I've never beaten Scott clean. And it's time for me to do that on the 23rd. But after that, I'm sure TJ is going to throw every single member of Team Elite at me, and I'm ready because God knows I'm scared of... Deanna or whoever they're going to throw at me. Oh, God, no, not just in case. Oh, TJ, please don't do that to me. You show no fear, which is which I, which I think is great. And God knows God knows, I'm scared of Reaper. Have you seen Reaper's haircut? No. Uh, he was on that TV show, The Mullets, that lasted a couple seasons on UPN. What? A, that's a nice hairdo, Reaper. You are looking good, pal. He, he upgraded from Shawn Michaels on a four-day heroin binge to a Shawn Michaels on a ten-day heroin binge without a haircut. He looks fantastic. Looks great. Uh, I'm sorry. I, you, know, I, you got me on a roll, Paul. I had to, I had to keep going with it. So, uh, fans, I, I'm going to do... Uh, at our next show, the next show I do here, I'm going to get the champion here. You're going to get Scott I, Osborne. I'm going to get the champ, uh, Scott Osborne, here. And if you can, I want to, I want you here for the next show. I can free up my schedule. All right, because I want to have you, you two gentlemen up here, and you know whether I'll be here uh, if you want me to, or you guys can, you know, give your segment. You can talk back and forth. Maybe try to you know, iron out some disagreements uh, or discuss what happened uh, at, at that last at that last show. Would you? Would you? Uh, are you willing to do that? I'll be here. I'll be here next week. And I will iron out my differences with Scott Osborne before we wrestle for the title on the 23rd. And that, 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 there you go, fans. Now, you, you can get the champion down here. That's fine with me. He's a, he's a hot man to get in contact. That's with. true. But I guarantee I will have the champion. He's watching a little too much WWE 24-7. He can't pick up his phone. Well, that's a great, that's a great, that's a great show to get, you know. Oh yeah, well, I mean, it's I, nice to, I got it the first day it came out. Yeah, that I'm a loser. I mean, was it was it, this month was it SummerSlam '92? That was a great SummerSlam. I was one of Bob, Bob Brett the Hitman Hart and Davey Boy Smith. It was, it was a fantastic match. Wembley Stadium. It was a very good show. But actually, actually, of course, the Macho Man, like the Macho Man and the Ultimate, Ultimate Warrior. Warrior. I, mean, I don't know who had more pink on that match. They both wear pink. Oh, they, they were very, they were very flamboyant looking yes. in that one. That was a great cut. You throw Bret Hart in there, it looks like a party at the Man Ray. That was, that was that was a great cut. It was a very good show. You know that that really was a great cut, fans. In case you uh, you don't get that, but uh, you, you, for, I think eight dollars a month, I think that's it. Yeah, it's you know. great. You know, purchase it. You know, also you know buy. Also, if you don't want to, you know, pay for WWE twenty four seven, come see us September twenty third. Right. You know, buy yeah. some tickets, buy some merchandise at the Everett Rec Center. And it won't cost you eight dollars. It costs you seven dollars in advance. So it costs you less to come see us. That's right. Instead of seeing, seeing them. You know, absolutely. They, you know, we can only plug... W, Vince is a billionaire. Let's plug us a little yeah. bit. That, come see me versus Scott Osborne. We've never failed to disappoint. And, of course, you probably have to deal with Team Lee, but... And, of course, you want to see, beside that match, of course, unfortunately, again, the commissioner will be there. Uh, I'm sure... <laughs> me on the commissioner's corner. That's going to be a good that, time. That was going to be very interesting, fans. Uh, and, of course, uh, you're going to see a 
Well, I'm sure most of the most of Team Elite will be there in, in some form of a, another match. Oh, great. You know, uh, you I'm know, sure uh, Reaper and Phoenix will be uh, defending their tag titles against. I don't know who. It, I don't know who would be the number one. Contender. I don't know, but I heard the match before that is a Phoenix entrance, which usually lasts around 25 to 30 minutes. I don't know. I guess yeah. that, 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 I know. that one went over your head, maybe a little oh, bit. Yeah, no. could, yeah. I mean, you know. I'm just, I'm in a rare mood. Mr. Cameraman, how much time do we have left, Mr. Cameraman? What do we got? Oh, we still got the four, oh, we got, we got four minutes there. We got four whole minutes, huh? On, talk, we can talk about a lot of different things. What else do you want to talk about? What else do I want to talk about? Yeah. I don't know, I, I think I, I think I wasted all my jokes about Team Elite. Yeah, no yeah. more jokes. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta go back to, you know, the tour, uh, the tour bus and write up some more, uh, material for them. I'll, I'll, believe me, I'll have my guns loaded for TJ on September 23rd, because, uh, as much as he might be telling his wife or his or whoever he hangs out with that he's going to outduel stunning Sean Stevens on the microphone, I don't see that happening. I actually see me making a complete and total fool out of him. Well, that would be nice to see. In fact, besides, I wish actually there were two segments on that commission's cons. I would love to have the the uh, the mastermind there also. What, what, by the way, what is going through the Mastermind's head with TJ Cohen? Or can, like, what's going on? Is he doing something about this? I've seen the Mastermind once since since that, that takeover, if you want to call it. And and he was just totally out of it. He was rambling on, and I, and, and I don't know where he is. I have not seen him since that show. So I, I don't know if he's in seclusion. I, I don't know. Fans, if you've seen the Mastermind, please, please, please go on our website. And, 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 uh, there's got there's got to be something he can do about this. We, you can't have this madman running around thinking he he you know calls the shots. Well, we did check with Sino did check into that, and, and unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to be your bodyguard against TJ. I'm going to be the road one. TJ, we're going to come against Paul. You have to go through me. I'm the road one. You come through me. I got your back. Bro. Oh, I like that. That's not bad. That's no, not a that's bad deal, a, huh? That's a nice robot. Worked out. I, I like that. So there you go, TJ Anderson. You want to try to blindside me again? It ain't going to work. I got something watching my back right now. You know, I don't think the suspension really had anything to do with it. TJ's a coward. I'm sure he heard that I was going to be here. And no one from Team Elite was going to be here. God knows what they're doing, but they weren't scheduled to be here. TJ was. He's just a coward. He knew I was going to be here. And he, di he didn't want to deal with stunning Sean Stevens, but he can't run on September 23rd. And I'm sure he scheduled this little commissioner's corner thing because he knows more than likely it's going to be a five to six on one with Scott Osborne throwing his little tantrum about what happened on July 1st. You know what? I don't care. I did things. I obviously did some things to people. Scott Osborne was one of them. He was hesitant to always trust me. You know, that's fine. I, I can deal with the five and the six on ones, and they can keep coming, and they can keep beating me up, and I'm going to keep coming back, as far as I'm concerned. They have it, fans. I'm getting the wrap-up, Mr. Mr. Cameraman? Okay. So, fans, on behalf of my bodyguard, the enforcer, Mike DePietro. That's right. And my co-host. You forgot something. The roadblock, right here. Roadblock. My co-host, Stunning Sean Stevens. I am the precious one. Until next time, fans, good night.